Hey guys, this is the recent Avery show in the morning, uh, 105.7 The Fan. Today we're going to talk about the All-Star br break coming up and like your mid-season Cy Young and all that stuff. MVPs. MVPs. So shocking team. And then you're going to talk about free agency and the Basketball, NBA. NBA so. so, the All-Star break is right around the corner and we wanted to talk to you about who do you think is your midseason MVP, Cy Young, and shocking team. So for my midseason MVP, I would go with Chris Davis. I know Miguel Cabrera is leading the league in batting average, but he's not in um, RBIs. But Chris Davis has shown that he can be up there with Miguel Cabrera because he Miguel Cabrera won the Triple Crown last year, and now Chris Davis is giving him a run, his, a run for his money. So I think he would be a good MVP. My Cy Young would go to either Matt Harvey or um, Max Scherzer. I think Scherzer has great command, knows how to throw his stuff, and then Harvey he knows how to control himself. He knows For the how to NL, though, I, I, I don't know. I think I would disagree on Harvey. I think I might take Patrick Corbin, who's been very solid for the Arizona. But um, Harvey has more strikeouts. Yeah, Even though he has less wins than Corbin, he has com he has better command than Corbin. Yeah, you, you do have a very good point there. So. And then our my surprise teams. my biggest surprise team, probably either the Red Sox for the AL and then the Braves for the NL. I thought the Nationals would be in first, but they're still in second, close second. The Braves, they're pulling away. They're like four or five games ahead. Of yeah, the they've Nationals. lost a couple. So. And then for the AL, probably either the Orioles or the Indians have been shocking. The Orioles, they didn't want to show people that this was a one-hit wonder last year. So they came back striking, and now they're still above 500. Then the Indians, they were, they started out okay, but then they didn't make... They didn't do. They didn't finish well. But this year, they're like in second for the division, along along with the Tigers. So I think they're giving the Tigers a good run for their money. So as far as my surprise teams, I'm gonna go the opposite. Like I'm gonna say either the Blue Jays or the LA Angels because they both made a lot of big free agent signings in the off season and they haven't performed very well. And that was surprising. I thought they'd do better than they did. But they now the Blue see. Jays had their 11 game win streak, but now that is over. Yeah, I mean, they didn't start off very well, and then they had the winning streak, but then the Rays busted it last night, so. And I also think that they did too much hype about the Angels and the Blue Jays. Even though you sign all those great players and all that stuff. You're not. You might. You might. They might not always be good together. Yeah. Like for example, the big three. They said they were gonna win like ten championships, but they set. But they sucked their first season. But then they got it back the second and third, where they've won two straight championships now. Well, I mean, wh when you talk about the big three, I think the first year. I do think it was under expectation because they had all those great players, they were expected to win the championship, and they got there, but they just lost to the Mavericks. And then this year, obviously winning their second straight championship. So they have the experience and all, but the first year was a little bit different than people had expected. So. And then you're going to talk about free agency in the NBA. So... I think this year the two biggest free agents are Chris Paul and Dwight Howard. They both have said they wanted to play with each other somewhere, whether it be in Atlanta, Houston, L.A. Um, I don't think Dwight Howard's going to go back to the L.A. Lakers. I think they're I think that basically was a must. That was a big Yeah, that was, that was a bad signing by them. And, you know, they only finished with 45 victories this year in the regular season. But I think... If they are going to play together somewhere, it's probably going to be in Atlanta. But both of them had stated if they're not going to play there together, then they don't want to play there individually. And if Howard's going to go anywhere, he's probably going to go to Houston because he's expressed a lot of interest in Houston. 
and he feels like he'll play best there. Well, and then Doc Rivers was sent to the Clippers, so yeah, that's that right. could be interesting if Dwight goes to the Clippers. Well, that's all the time we have today, folks. For Avery Newport, I'm Reese Levin. Have a good morning. Bye-bye.